Hey guys, it's Mike here with Real Texas Outdoors. I wanted to take a minute and show you a new trap that we're going to be having uh, put on our site. If you're watching the video, there's a good chance it's already up for sale. But uh, anyway, this video will kind of explain what this trap's about and what it's used for. This is our new multi-purpose trap. And it is, um, I mean, you may have seen traps like this before, but I bet they didn't do you know, exactly what this one was intended for. And so you can see here, it's a 12 inch by 12 inch. So it's 12 inch up the side, 12 inch across the top. So it's only a foot by one foot. It's two foot long, so it's kind of like a rectangular trap, or it definitely is a rectangular trap. Um, but the idea here is for this trap to be used for, you know, any kind of bait fish that you want to use it for, like our four leaf clover and the figure eight we sell. And I, I'm not saying that this would do as good as those, because I, I really am I'm pretty partial to those. Uh, but this is probably, honestly, a better multi-purpose trap. So if you're trying to catch things like, you know, creek chubs or even maybe something like crawfish, this would definitely be a trap that you'd want to consider. And so the reason that I, we designed it this way to be multi-purpose is this, you know, fish swim up and down. So let me, hopefully you can see this on the camera, but these entry points, there's actually two on each side here, right? And so there's one here at the bottom where the fish would come in. And then obviously this is a funnel and they would come around the corner and they would go into this hole here or they would go in this hole up top. So there's actually two holes here and I'll talk more about those in just a second. And so if you wanted to catch just bait fish, you would leave it in the water just like you see it with the holes going up and down or uh, I guess vertically. Now, if you're more into crawfish and you wanted to switch it up, uh, then you could honestly, because it's a square on this end, you could just flip it. And now crawfish can easily get into this trap because they have a ramp to crawl up into and hop in there. So this is really, really, you know, a cool trap in regards to whatever you want to bait it up for with, you can catch. So if you're really going for crawfish, you just turn it this way and you would lay the trap in the water this way. But if you're going for bait fish, turn it that way, lay it in the trap, lay it in the water that way. And so it really kind of depends on what you're going for. And so that's why we've named it like the multi-purpose. Now, you know, in Texas lakes, wherever you'd want to check with uh, your, I guess your state's uh, regulations, but in Texas lakes, you can't have openings that are larger than one inch by three inch, but you can have multiple openings on each side of a trap. And so what I've done here is I've made a little bit of wiggle room. I know it's really hard to see. I'm going to try to outline it on some pictures, but with these openings, you know, it, it is one inch by three inch, but if you needed to, you could take a tool and you could actually squeeze these in right here and bend them in to make it larger or smaller depending on what you're doing. You know, if I was using this in like a public place, then I probably would have to squeeze them in just a little bit to make sure they're one inch by three inch. Um, but if I were using it in, and you can see it maybe better from this side, if I were using it in like a private pond, then I could definitely open that sucker up and even make it bigger. Or if I'm using it for crawfish, I could make it bigger as well. And so that, that'll give you some wiggle room. Uh, that design there was really just to allow, I guess, some wiggle room in making sure that you're meeting the regulations and you're doing everything legally. Uh, it does come with a four inch by four inch bait compartment on the top. And, um, you know, sorry about the camera moving around so much. I'm doing this by myself, if you, if you couldn't tell. Um, so it does have a big bait compartment on top. And this big bait compartment's kind of, it's typical for what we, when we build these larger traps with a one inch by half inch mesh. So, you know, this is one inch by half inch mesh and we always put the four inch by four inch bait compartment. So you can load this down with whatever bait you want. And because this compartment is really big, um, it'll stay there a long time. And then the other design part I really liked here is whenever the fish come in there, I hope you can see this well, whenever the fish come in there, we didn't put these these uh i guess the bait compartment far away from the entry point and the idea there is when the fish go in they don't have anywhere to go but in the trap to get more space so as soon as they enter this trap they're bumping their nose or bumping whatever it is onto this uh onto this bait compartment and so it, by default they're gonna have to go in and go around this thing to actually have more room and that's going to catch you more fish there as well uh, and we also i guess the final piece here would be the exit door we make a really large size exit door um, and so that will allow, you know, you pour the bait out very well. We put it in the corner of the trap, so it kind of funnels that you can see right here. The bait will kind of be funneled down to this end here when you pour it out. And so, yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about this trap, and again, I'm, I'm the only one video, I'm the only one out here, so I apologize about the, the video quality. Um, but if you have any questions about this trap, please be free, like, feel free to call me or to email me. Um, the number here is 936-553-5509. I'll also put the link in the description. Uh, and my email is mike at realtexasoutdoors.com. Thank you guys very much. Have a great night. God bless.